Hello, welcome to Flyblog Media. Today I'm going to teach you how to use a pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to open a file. Okay. I'm going to make sure it's in a four. Let me change the units to meters. I'm going to make it landscape. Okay. Is today, so I'm going to to hold the click in this flag below to reveal my other tools within the pen tool. Then I'm going to click on uh, this bar to release to reveal the tools within. The pen tool. Pen as it has said. Now we are going to use this pen tool and also uh, the anchor point tool. Add the delete uh, uh, the add anchor point tool, the delete anchor point tool, and the anchor point tool for the pen tool. This tool is used across Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe InDesign. Uh, once uh, uh, you've learned how to use it in Adobe Illustrator, it's the same way you're going to use it in other uh, other Adobe packages. So, basically, the tool is used to to draw curves and straight lines. Uh, let's get started. We'll click on the tool. Then we are going to draw a curve. As in this case, I'm going to draw a circle. So we're going to click and drag to the direction the circle is going. Then I'll find the other direction. Click. And drag to make the smooth curve. Also, click and drag. Click and drag by holding shift. Um, it's not a perfect circle, but you can use the direct selection tool uh -huh. to select anchor points. These uh, dots are anchor points. These anchor points can be used to manipulate uh, an object or an, an image or a path. So, this is the one we can use to adjust our circle. close enough to a circle so that is the first way to use a pen tool the second way is you can use a pen tool to draw straight lines or objects with the straight lines and click Drag to the direction I need to. Then I'll continue holding Shift to draw a straight line. While holding Shift, I'll hold Alt and uh, holding Alt uh, allows you to go to any direction you want, either top, to any other angle you want you want to go. In my case, I'm going to hold uh, 90 degrees going down. And then I'll click, drag, hold, alt, shift in the direction I want to. Click. 
maximize to get this uh, choose me uh, point of intersection going to click and drag and point uh, hold alt to point and shift to point to my direction I want to I'll close the the, the path so basically that is how we use a pen tool to draw lines and curves so the next thing I'm going to show you is how to use this add anchor point tool uh, I'll select this circle and then take a, while still selected I'll take the pen tool the add anchor point tool I'm going to add some anchor points I'm going to add another anchor point here so this anchor point uh, using a direct selection tool you can manipulate the anchor points to push either outward or inward depending on how you want the object to look like so that is the work of a uh, add anchor point tool also we have a delete anchor point tool basically what it does it deletes anchor points like this one uh, you see if there is a minus just uh, below the tool when I click any anchor point it basically deletes the anchor point yeah that is how this tool works we have uh, anchor point tool anchor point tool is uh, uh, a tool used to manipulate the direction of uh, our handles where we can direct our curve we can direct uh, straight lines to the direction we want to it also can uh, manipulate in a uh, manipulate the uh, angles of uh, from our uh, anchor points so we can also use the tool to select uh, a path then manipulate the path so this is how we use these tools the shortcut for pen tool is P the shortcut for an anchor point is plus sign negative sign for delete anchor point and shift C for for anchor point tool while selecting a pen you can switch to anchor point tool by holding alt alt enables you to to manipulate a curve or, or a handle of an anchor point yeah this is how we do it uh, the pen tool can be used to draw logos to do tracing and fitting a network yeah. <coughs> I hope you enjoyed this video subscribe to this channel for more videos thank you